from the very first outing we had following that initial photograph in the rain where he got briefly to talk to us, he used to use every opportunity he could to get to know the maintenance guys, the team, the pilots, the air crew. The flight consisted of two Wessex 5 helicopters, which were commando helicopters designed specifically to ferry Royal Marines about. Both aircraft always had to be ready on the line first thing in the morning to fly. And the reason why we had two, I know Charles can only fly one, but we also have had to have one as a backup aircraft in case anything happened. Two aircraft were flying out of Yeovilton. And as they approached the M5, Charles reported that he had a serious loss of power from one of his two engines. Uh, so much so that it became critical and they lost that engine. So the aircraft was only on one engine. Uh, it's quite able to fly on one engine, but for safety reasons, they decided to put it down and you have to put it down as, as quick and safely as possible. The only place that they could put it down was a potato field. It was a spud field next to the M5. Um, they both landed on to this field. Uh, not a very good location because you can imagine all the passing traffic, two aircraft sat in the field alongside the motorway would soon attract attention and we didn't want any publicity. Prince Charles got out of one aircraft, back into the other aircraft, safety aircraft, and he was flown back to Yeovilton. It wouldn't have crashed. Charles's basic operational flying training, he would have been trained how to fly on one engine. If you have an engine problem like that, you would land as soon as possible and as safe as possible.